It's Christmas incredibly soon. Due to this, you're probably listening to some good old Christmas songs, getting in the festive mood. At this point in time, there are tons of Christmas songs. But what if I was to tell you that there is one Christmas song, one Christmas song that stands out, one Christmas song that is the best Christmas song ever? Now, what Christmas song could I possibly be talking about? Am I talking about Fairy Tale of New York? No. Driving home for Christmas? No. Well, it must be All I Want for Christmas is You. No, it's not. The best Christmas song ever is, in fact, Wham's Last Christmas. Allow me to explain. For us to fully understand why Last Christmas is the best Christmas song, we need to go back, back before the song was even written. It was 1984, Wham was getting ready to release their second studio album, Make It Big. At the time, Wham had experienced great success with their first album, Fantastic, that stayed at number one for two weeks. Additionally, Wham's Wake Me Up Before You Go Go and George Michael's Careless Whisper had only just been released. It's safe to say that Wham were confident confident in their ability to write astounding songs, but there was something which they had not yet attempted, something they knew could pay off tremendously if executed correctly. They had to write a Christmas track. In the book George and Me, Andrew Ridgely states that it was 1984, and one afternoon George started sketching out the chorus and the verse for Last Christmas. Andrew Ridgely states, I only had to listen to the demo once to realise that Last Christmas was a huge hit. And Andrew Ridgely was right, the song has become a Christmas classic. Nevertheless, now we have got the story of this song out of the way, let's take a look at the instrumentation and lyrics for this song. Firstly, the instrumentation for this track. You've got the sleigh bells, those synths, and that overall Christmassy sound. You're put in that festive mood if you like it or not. Although the instrumentation is not the reason why I speak of Last Christmas in such high regard. A lot of Christmas songs achieve that Christmassy sound. Just listen to Paul McCartney's Wonderful Christmas Time, or even Queen's Thank God It's Christmas. I of course have to mention Queen. What makes Last Christmas stand out is, well, the lyrics. Last Christmas isn't your stereotypical upbeat Christmas song, which is surprising considering how merry the instrumentation sounds. Last Christmas doesn't tell us of the enjoyment that surrounds Christmas time. In fact, Last Christmas is rather depressing, as we're told of a relationship that led to a broken heart, and this year they have to see each other once again. The lyrics are emotional and most importantly, relatable. We're constantly reminded that Christmas isn't always the happiest time. However, and this is a big however, there are other Christmas songs that can be considered unhappy, such as Elvis Presley's Blue Christmas and Prince's Another Lonely Christmas. Yet, I have one last trick up my sleeve. I'm not giving up just yet. You see, Last Christmas uses the lyric, Now solely think about the word heart. The heart acts as a metaphor for a Christmas gift. And what's special about this is that Wham used a technique called show, don't tell. The lyrics for Last Christmas don't simply inform us of every single detail. Instead, showing makes it so we as the listener have to paint a picture in our heads. But you may be wondering, why is showing better than telling? The reason why showing is better than telling is because we have to think more about the song's meaning and therefore make our own interpretations of the lyrics. This results in us finding the lyrics more interesting as the meaning of the song is not clear at first. A short anecdote here. I do have to say that I was astonished when I found out what this track was about. The instrumentals sound gleeful, and as a child I obviously didn't pay attention to the lyrics. I mean, what child would start analysing lyrics? And it wasn't until one fateful day, just before Christmas, that I actually thought about the lyrics, and realised, geez, this song's kind of melancholic. It's safe to say Christmas was ruined for me that year. Yet on to the conclusion. In conclusion, Last Christmas is the best Christmas song. The track's an emotional journey, touching on a broken heart. Additionally, Last Christmas includes the technique show, Don't Tell, 
which scored this track extra points. Although most importantly, no matter what you believe is the best Christmas song, it is vital that we recognise the memories Last Christmas has brought us, if those be happy or sad memories. No matter if you were around when the song was released back in 1984 or even now, please remember this Christmas when you're opening your presents or sitting at the Christmas table. If Last Christmas comes on, consider stopping and appreciating the instrumentation and poetic lyrics which Last Christmas beholds. Happy 35th anniversary to Last Christmas, thank you George Michael for this festive track, and have a Merry Christmas everyone, thank you. But damn this song needs to get to number one this year. Hello, I hope you enjoyed the video. Can't believe we're so close to Christmas already. Well, I hope this video got you in the festive mood. And until next time, consider liking this video. Share this video if you can, because that would make me incredibly happy. If you're new, consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.